Hey guys, this is Lego Technic Freak 518 and then today I'll be showing you how to make a simple uh, four wheel drive gearbox. And you won't need these or the pieces back there, those little random ones. So, yeah, and you might need some more. I, I don't show all of them because I don't really remember what pieces, but then I know how to build it. So, yeah, so um, let me start off by uh, doing what you need to do. I'll get back to you. Alright, so this is what I got. I'm gonna put two studs right there and right there in the holes. Right there and right there. Don't cover these ones because those are where the little things are gonna go through. So, yeah. So, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna flip it back over and uh, you're gonna stick this little piece through. Uh, yeah. You're gonna stick this piece through. And then you're gonna put my bad. You're gonna put one of those. And you're gonna get one of these gears. And you don't have to do that yet. So just put it through. Because then it won't be even or it'll be a wobbly and not like that. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna get these and one of these and give it half of a stud room just like that and uh, then you're gonna get two of these you're gonna put one on that side just to it goes to the tip and um, I'll only do, do that So that's how you do it. Make it be able to turn. So then what you're gonna do, you're gonna get one of these long pieces, stick it through the middle. You're gonna put one of these black gears there, just like that. And then you're gonna get a two stud spacer, you're gonna put it there. Just like that. And then what you're gonna do, this is the hard part. You're gonna do this, but don't do it on this side. Do it on this side, or it won't be four wheel drive. It'll be a wacky drive kind of thing. So just do the same thing, but opposite ways. Right, so then you got this, and see when you turn this, the front ones turn too. And you can't go the opposite way because it won't work. Because it's four wheel drive. And then what you do is you're gonna get a um you're gonna get a four stud long uh, piece. I got one. Ah, dropped it. Let me get back to you. Alright, so there's the four. A little different than uh, one of the fives without that. It's one stud little. So. Alright, so then you're going to put it through there. You're going to put a spacer, and then you're going to put one of those little small half gears again. go it should look like that and this is not where the motor goes it's just for detail and then I'm gonna put a engine on it and well yeah I'll, at the end of the video I'll try to put an engine on it that's what I did last time try to make this video but the battery on this thing died but now I have it uh plugged in so now what you're gonna do is um you're going to put these pieces on top of it. So I'll get back to you. Alright, so this is just for stability. And uh, for the gear, er, for the motor and stuff. So yeah, so that's how it goes. And then what you're going to do is 
remember when I told you you're going to put that in there? Put it in there. Okay? I'll get back to you. I almost got it, guys. Alright, I got it, guys. That was a pain, man. And it took so long that I had to, uh, resume the video for a sec because my camera was about to go off. So, yeah, it turns off after about three minutes, and it took me about three minutes to do it, so... Next time I do this, I'll put it on before I do all this. So let me uh, push this piece back in because it keeps coming out. Alright, there we go. Okay, so there is the little piece. Now what you're going to do to this, I'll get back to you. Alright, so I got it back on. What you're going to do is just put a half spacer and a space. You, you can put... Just one space if you're just doing these little small tires. But if you're doing these huge ones, you want half in and one of the others. So let me uh, put the battery box in. Actually, no, we have to do this first. What I'm going to do is going to get this, put this under it, get a uh, three long uh, stud, stick it through the middle and connect it so you can put the. the motor on it and then put these two studs on so it's like that and the motor will go right there and this you put right there so you're gonna get some studs and another stud and then you're gonna put it right there so when you turn this makes it four wheel drive. Let's see. It goes pretty fast, it's like it's not the fastest, but hey it's Lego. Lego is awesome, so now I will put the motor on. that then you're gonna put the tires on I'm gonna use the small ones for now because they're easier to handle because usually when I do the big ones this motor breaks that is one loose tire dang that is a loose tire you know whatever all right so here's how you connect the battery box what you're gonna do is uh, put it like this, put some studs on the bottom, all four places. Just like that. And then you're gonna put it right there, or you can put it on this side, or you can put it anywhere. But I like to put it on the side that needs more weight. And this side needs more weight because I'm gonna have weight on this side. And so when you put it on here, Four wheel drive. That tied? Then that side. It's on all wheels. See? There's the mechanism. Pretty fast. It looks like a helicopter because it's going so fast on a camera. Alright, so there it is. Now I'll get back to you with a lot of detail and structure. Bye. Hang on, guys, I almost got it. Alright, guys, I got it. I'm back. And, um, yeah, I put an engine on it. There's the engine. Alright, now I'm going to put the big tires on it so you guys can see. I'll be back. Alright guys, this thing's monstrous. This thing has no width. So if you put a little thing in here, gets caught, it will really hurt this thing. This thing can't even go through because it's so big. Black. Douche. Alright, 
so I think it's going to hurt my fan. Oh, ah, it's monstrous, it goes pretty dang fast. Sorry about that, I couldn't get it off with one hand. Alright, so, good. Thanks for watching, this is Lego Technic Freak 518 signing out. And, uh, subscribe, like, and if you like my videos, comment on them. Yeah. So, thanks for watching, bye.